assess whether someone is qualified to be a judge. So let me start with that. Um, uh, I graduated from Stanford Law School in 1981. I've been a lawyer for 29 years. I devoted almost my entire public career to public service. Uh, I took my Stanford Law degree and instead of going to make a pile of money working for a private firm, uh, I went to Los Angeles where I was a prosecutor in downtown LA, which is the intersection of two of the poorest and most crime ravaged neighborhoods, East LA and South Central. Um, since 1985, I have worked for judges at the highest levels of the California court. Uh, I worked for Arlie Woods in San Francisco. She was the first African-American woman appointed to the Court of Appeal. And <laughs> I worked for her for 10 years. Since 1999, I've worked at the California Supreme Court, just down the street at Civic Center. And I worked for Carlos Moreno, who is the, uh, only the third Latino to serve on the court, uh, the only Democrat. Um, and I'm very proud of the work that I've done for these progressive judges. For Justice Woods, for example, I wrote uh, the opinion that upheld the, the anti an anti-discrimination law that protected people with HIV and AIDS. Uh, just last year for Justice Moreno, I worked on a case that upheld the right of consumers to sue tobacco companies for the decades-long uh, campaign of misinformation uh, about the health risks of smoking. So I have been evaluated by five different bar associations, including the Bar Association of San Francisco and the State Bar, and I've been found by the legal community to be qualified for the post of judge. But frankly, the legal community doesn't really get the final voice. You do. And why is it important for you to care who you, for who your judges are? Because judges, not, judges don't just apply the law, they also interpret the law. To use a sports metaphor, and I apologize, but it's the only sports metaphor I know, <laughs> judges aren't umpires who just call balls and strikes, they actually determine what the strike zone is. And therefore, it matters who the judges are. You know, you have an amazing diversity of candidates in District 6. I'm so impressed by their diverse backgrounds, by how articulate they are, and how close they are to the community and its values. In contrast, the San Francisco Superior Court is 70% white, 55% male, almost entirely appointed by Republican governors, going back to Duke Majin. Uh, and most of them have big law firm backgrounds. So, you know, for example, it matters if there is a discrimination lawsuit, whether a judge has personal experience of discrimination, whether that judge belongs to a group that's been discriminated against, and this is borne out by a very interesting study that compared uh, African-American district court judges and white district court judges who were handling employment discrimination cases. Not surprisingly, the white district court judges more often than not ruled in favor of the corporations, while the African-American judges more often than not ruled in, in favor of the plaintiff. And that's because African-American judges have experience of being discriminated against, and so they can believe it when someone has a discrimination claim, whereas white judges, who maybe don't have that same experience, are going to find it a little harder to believe. So let me just end by telling you a little bit about my personal background. I was the illegitimate son of a teenage mother. I'm the grandson of Mexican immigrants. I was raised in a welfare family. My stepfather was in and out of prisons and jails when I was a kid. My first experience with the criminal justice system was visiting him in Folsom Prison where he was doing a term for drugs. So nonetheless, I worked my way through college. I worked my way through Stanford. But I stand before you, you know, a queer Latino Democrat who is committed to the rule of law, who believes in equal protection of the law for everyone, not because it's something I learned in law school, but because it's in the fiber of my being. And I would be very happy to have the endorsement of um, the Central City Dems. You know, I was at the Noe Valley Democrat, Democratic Club earlier, and no offense to them. I have a lot of friends in Noe Valley, but this is my crowd. So, <laughs> thank you.